What's y'all, man? It's your boy DMV. Who's the news? Who the fuck we got right here, man? man? We got Rebel Band right here with my nigga DMV. I mean, man, it's a long time coming, man. I, I yeah. had to log in there, man. Yeah. I say, man, because, you know, I took a break from the interviewing and shit like that, right? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, man, if I do an interview, if I go back doing interviews, the first, the first three artists, I got interviews with Rubber Band, like the first, and yeah, he was like, no he was top three on the radar, for I real, man. That. For real. You know what I'm saying, dog, for real, though, man. A lot you know what I'm saying? Not to cut you off, a lot of uh, bloggers and a lot of people don't be tapped in the band. For real. I'm, you. I'm not going to lie, though. This how I got hip. And I got, you can hit me about the random, and I was like, damn, bro, I got some followers yeah. and shit. And he was like, hey, bro, I'm trying to get the promo. And I was mm -hmm. like, for real? That's how I started off. So, promo. we locked in the promo and I checked this. It was I forgot what song it was for. It was right. like, I think it was the one that did like 150,000 views. It's Risk. Yeah, Risk. And I was like, dang, this nigga, yeah, he trying like buzzing. You know what I'm saying? He ain't come off no coggy shit like, yeah, we running it up. We doing numbers out this motherfucker. And that shit surprised me when Risk hit 100K, no funny yeah, shit. Yeah, facts. Shit. That shit blue. Yeah, facts, man. Nah, man, you really bad. You really been on the grind, and I definitely had to pull up, man. You see, I pulled up in the trenches right here, Kenilworth, man. Did. So, man, did. Did. so this is where you from, born uh, raised? I wasn't born and raised out here. My aunt, she been out here since '98. Right. I've been born in '98, so you could basically say ever since I started, we've been what, what, five, six, seven? Yeah, five, six, seven. Where were you originally coming from? Out here. I ain't never claimed nothing else but Kenilworth. But Kenilworth, okay, you know okay. I ain't never claimed you know nothing else. Cause I know, cause I know a lot of people from like 501 really moved over here. Yeah, and shit nah, like yeah. That. I ain't like, never claimed so nothing. So like else. you originally like, yeah, like yeah. technically your original turf. Like, like since I was a kid. Ever since a kid, Screaming man. Screaming the shit out Kenilworth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, man. Tell me your uh, lifestyle growing up around this motherfucker, man. Man, growing up out here, I ain't gonna lie. Stunner, got Stunner right there. What's up, Stun? Yeah, man. Shout out to him, man. You know me, what I'm saying? Stunner, more of us. Yeah, me. Right. Running around this motherfucker. You hear me? Doing dumb shit. You know, yeah, we yeah. still out here though. Lost yeah, a lot of people and shit, but you know, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, come yeah, with yeah. the shit. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, nah, for real, man. Who, who we got right here, man? You wanna get on the camera, man? Let them know? Yeah, come in the camera, stop back and so crazy. Frontline stunner, ay, ay. Hey, hey, baby. DTA stunner. Yeah, stunner. Facts. Frontline stunner, yeah, yeah, man. And that's how we coming. Yeah, man, definitely. I ain't gonna lie, we got a couple hit makers from, that came from Kenilworth, man. Out with this motherfucker, man. Yeah. Rubber band, one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, definitely, you know what I'm we are definitely an underrated hood. Yeah. Big talent out here. Yeah, big talent big out talent. here, man. We started this shit. I ain't gonna lie. What well, I would say. Big shout out to Kenny Black, you know what I'm saying? Sneaky Blue Hot. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. He been doing this shit since definitely. back then, you get know what I'm saying? Right. We took it to the next level, you hear know? me? And we just complimenting that shit. Nah, definitely, uh, yeah, that's keeping definitely, that shit, man. Keeping the you know what I'm saying? One of my other favorite rappers, uh, uh, DTA, do that, man. Yeah. I'm a hustler too. Yeah, in fact, man, I definitely got hit to him, man, uh -huh. and shit like that, man. So, yeah, man, tell me, tell me, oh, this is right here. My Big money bag. bag. You hear me? Long live dude, long, long live trail. Yeah, nah, that's nice, how we play on yeah, definitely. So y'all definitely had some stars out this motherfucker, uh -huh. man. So I mean, tell me your upbringing growing up around this motherfucker, man. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I've been rapping since what? I'm, I'm 23 right now. I've been rapping since 12. Right. So you can put 10 years on that shit. You can put 10 years. Yeah, but I mean, like I say like officially in the booth. You know well, what I'm officially, saying? yeah, taking it serious. I ain't gonna lie. I've been taking it serious for two years. Two years. Bro, and I still wanna say I take it serious. Cause yeah. Like I said. I just want to the porch interview. I told the nigga, I go to the studio once a month. Really? Really. Believe it or not. Only really once a month. Once a month, and I make hits out that shit. Yeah, Damn. I don't but I but like when you go, that. though, do you like just make one track or just make bangers out there? I get a four hour jump, and we we just squeeze about six songs out there, and we shoot videos and everything. Another thing, the artist, I'm going to say this now. Shoot videos to your song, please. You really missing out on fans. You missing on out of last yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Just by having a hundred hits in your phone and shit. Yeah. iPhone, I call y'all iPhone superstars. <laughs> they just keep shit in there. I call y'all iPhone superstars. Yeah, they definitely, yeah, they definitely keep shit in there. Shoot videos to your shit, man. Yeah, Yo. nah, for real, man, huh? nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? So you say you just go once a month. Yeah, I go once a month, believe you know, it or not. Mr. But you make, but you, you go back to back, like uh -huh. you, you, you still consistent in a way. Uh huh. It's yeah. P. Lane right here, man. It's another original. Yeah, five, man. So tell me, like, tell me a day in the life oh, of Kenilworth, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I got hit to this through an old YouTube channel called Kenilworth TV, man. Yeah, that Shout shit out was Kenilworth lit. TV too. Shout out Kenilworth TV. Kenilworth TV. He been doing this shit before. A lot of blogs, he just realized stepped down from the shit, but yeah, he been started doing this shit. Yeah, and he would have been up because he had a lot of lit content. Man, he had hella lit content. He had content. a lot of lit content, but a day in the life out here. Fuck with him, bro. Not yeah, no fact. I, 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 I thought he shut his YouTube down. I ain't seen nah, him in a minute. Still rocking and rolling. Yeah, fact. Yeah. 
A day in the life out here, stun will answer that best for you. Yeah, I'm a day in the life out here, stun. <laughs> From the wake up to go to sleep. But like, that was like the world style hip hop. Yeah. That was like kind of DMV Hoods and News before it was DMV Hoods and News. Like, that was like, that was kind of like world style hip hop DC. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was getting all the school joints and all that. that you know me, I'm a Northwest baby, uh -huh. so I, I really like I hung out in Northeast, but I ain't I wasn't hit to this side of Northeast. Where you from? I'm a, I grew up around Leroy and shit. Man. Yeah. That's why I grew up around. You know what I'm saying? You know I hung out in some parts of Northeast, but it was just like I'm a real Northwest baby. Uh -huh. So when I'm seeing this shit that's going on in Kenilworth, I'm like this is a whole totally different world, man. And let me ask you a question: Would you say Northwest niggas different from a Northeast nigga from a Southeast nigga? Definitely. It's definitely. A it's different. always a, it's always a different. Right. But you know one thing I say about like Northeast and Northwest always had that connection uh -huh. in a way because like even though like you're kind of more closer on the southeast side yeah. on the Benner Road you know what I'm saying that kind of area and shit uh -huh. like that no visa uptown because it's like you know what I'm saying we kind of like a little bit more exactly. closer Not and it. shit you know what I'm saying exactly. so it's kind of like always been like a relationship so it's a little bit more similarities with no fees and no west exactly what you, you know what I'm saying no fees no west niggas both be fly mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying the only other uh -huh. side because we was just debating about the, the funnel shit, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Uptown niggas started it. But like, niggas, agree with that. all my men out Trinidad was smoking funnel back in the days too. You know what I'm saying? Because they had the, the funnel shop. You know what I'm saying? They was fucking with but it. But you know, Uptown, they been, they been, yeah. Jay's been spicy and all that. Yeah, like, hell yeah. Too much funnel and all that. They <laughs> he said too that much funnel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Some some parts of Uptown, they know, they know this brick boys. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. They know for that shit. <laughs> but nah, just back to the question, man. Just tell me, like, what was your life, man? How was it for you, man? I ain't gonna lie, this shit was real tough because you gotta understand, I'm chasing a dream out here that a lot of niggas don't believe. Right. A lot of niggas ain't gonna think that Bang gonna get a motherfucking record deal, or Bang gonna Damn. walk the walk the BT runway or something. Mm -hmm. This shit hard to believe. I'm forcing niggas to believe that this shit could really happen. You get what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And it's called footwork. I'm putting a lot of footwork. This shit was tough, man. Yeah. No funny shit. I couldn't even drop videos at first. Right. I was real live out here just making a hundred music. I found a superstar, dropping mm -hmm. shit, but dropping no videos. Yeah, it's yeah. to a point I woke up one day, I said, man, fuck that every doll I make, I'm gonna go dig hard in the videos. Yeah, fact. And this shit just happened out, this shit just happened. Yeah, fine. I mean, is your, is your stuff on streaming platforms too, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you my stuff sh definitely on, on Okay, I had platform. to make sure, man, because you know, you I got to paid off that shit. Yeah, 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 facts. I had mm -hmm. to make sure, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to make sure you get paid and mm -hmm. get revenue for your shit, man. Yeah, I definitely get a check off that shit. Yeah, 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 man. Facts, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I so, feel like I won off that because. Do you, um, I got a question on that, though. Do you think, do you think you, um, just going to the booth first without making music videos and putting it on platforms, you think that kind of helped you in a way? Because it might have helped you with your um, creativity and help oh, yeah. you the artist. It definitely helped me because I was one of those niggas it. that was going to quit a hundred times. Like, man, I ain't fucking with this shit. It ain't yeah, nothing yeah. coming out of it. Right. It ain't nothing going on. Right. Man, I logged in the distro kid. I seen that I really had about what? 1400 in that jump? Yeah, off the. And that's some slight shit because it's niggas shit, that's yeah. really doing way more than that. Yeah. When I had 14 in that jump, I said, fuck, no, I'm about to keep on going. It's yeah. some shit you can make off the block. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a social media in this way, too. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a way you make your money. Yeah, you be making revenue off social media? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I make the promos and I also make, you know, YouTube monetization yeah. and okay. shit. They demonetize me, though, but I'm gonna get that back, though. I ain't worried about that. Mind. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I'm back here. That's why I'm back. That's why I'm back right. on my hood's and new shit, yeah, man. Back I'm, back, shit. I'm about That's to get it. back on my I'm interview like, shit. <laughs> so I definitely had to pull it back up, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now, uh, but now, nah, like, I've been, like, one of the biggest fans ever since I got hit to you, mm -hmm. man. You know what I I'm saying? So, I nah, definitely, man. Tell me, like, what's a what's a funny-ass day? Like, give me a funny-ass memory, man, back funny in the days, man. Back in the day, memory. I ain't gonna lie. Huh? I ain't gonna lie. We was out here, yeah. That is a funny-ass memory. Yeah. You just remind me. No funny shit. We be having lit-ass cookouts every summer, you know what I mean? What they know about Kenworth, a lot of niggas know that we just like be getting lit and we be having them parties out here. Right. That's one thing that my hood known for. Uh -huh. One day, grandma, everybody drunk as shit. I think this when, this when, <laughs> nah, this ain't when Cup Waters just came out. Ugh, this is when Cup Waters just came out. You hear me? They right. Big ass wave, Cup Waters, everybody going in on them junk. I got a cool <laughs> man. He real little Cup Waters. They should sponsor him. I'm talking about commercials and all that. <laughs> they should sponsor him. You hear me? Right. He drunk and shit off the cup. He bust his ass right here in the middle of the street. <laughs> Your boy, yeah, me. Dead V. and News picked the video up. You the one that picked the joint up. I did that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a cool point. It's not a lot of shit to laugh about out here, though. Yeah, I me. Mean, we be on. It's, it's, it's a struggle, but you got to make the best out of it. Yeah, I made the best out of it. Yeah. We definitely be on strictly business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No funny shit. But that's a cool point.
funny moment I could think of. Nah, for real, uh -huh. man. <laughs> nah, nah, for real. For real man. A question I have right here, man, because you know this is no feast, right? Mm -hmm. But like I said before, it's kind of like borderline southeast. You know what I'm saying? In a way, it's yeah. borderline southeast. Berlin's like two blocks up the corner. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, oh, it's always been this thing called the north and northeast. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people from this side of Northeast call they self the North. What's the difference between the two? You know what I'm saying? Like the North? Yeah. The I feel like the North, the whole uh, Northeast, Northwest, I feel like that's the North. That's the North. Uh, when, niggas be like, when niggas be like, yeah, it's Northeast. They just spell like that. But you know when niggas be like, we run the North? Because I say that, I say we run the North. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about our side of Northeast. I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Another nigga can say we run the North of the West. That's this shit they got going on. You right, know right, what I'm right, 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 right. When I say we run the north, they know what's going on. I'm talking about my side of the north. Yeah, yeah, facts, 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 facts. That's facts. how that shit goes. The yeah, north, yeah. I want to count as a. Yeah, because some people try to divide it. Oh, yeah, like they'll be like, oh, Trinidad, that's northeast. But if you down Kenilworth, Clay Turs, yeah. any other little, this part of northeast or uh -huh. Huntwood or whatever, they be like, oh, yeah, this is the north. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And you I got a third. question for you. Yeah. So you think, how you feel about the DC rap game in DC? Like, you think it's hard for a female to make it out? A female? Mm -hmm. Female. Uh, yeah, I think it's definitely harder to make That's it out. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely harder to make out. You know what I'm oh, saying? Man. Like, you, you definitely see. You see, like, I want them to hear this shit when they watch this interview. Yeah, it's definitely hard because you kind of like, like, you think I have skill, sex appeal, or both. You, you know what I'm saying? Skill. There you go. Yeah, this skill, sex appeal, or both. Saying this shit. I yeah, want y'all listen. So it's man. harder. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This that third. And then, you, then you got niggas that always want to like. Like try to fuck on you exactly. and you want to take advantage like, of yeah, you right, want to take advantage so of your any situation. female artists out there that's really trying to make it, bad do a manager. So come to me, oh, they gonna try to take advantage of you. <laughs> you hear what DB Hood's new set itself. I got you, I'm gonna take you there. Yeah. What you trying to throw the cheeks at you too though? Huh? What you trying to throw the cheeks at you too though? It's okay, all business, baby. You know I mean? We can't mix business and pleasure, it ain't gonna work. You know okay. I mean? We strictly business over here, like I said. If she say just, oh yeah, this is the pleasure and this is the business. What's the one? I got a man for you. So let my man. Now we get now we get back to a music video promotion and shit. You know what yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. Yo, I'm saying facts, man. Um, shit, you was one of the big artists that actually hit me up about promotion. That's how I got hit to uh -huh. you. How do you feel about putting marketing into your music? How you feel like? How important do you feel like that is? I feel like that shit. That's a number good ass one. question. That's promo number, number one. one. You need promo because you need the exposure. You yeah. need other motherfuckers to hear you. You need yeah. the, your talent need to be heard. Right. Shit ain't but heard it's motherfuckers that don't do promo though. That real be buzzing. Right. That's what fuck my head up. But you know you gotta stay true to yourself. It's right? funny. It, it's funny because it feel like I'm me and you interviewing each other, right? Yeah. But it's funny how you say that, right? But like. What I noticed with the damn V is rappers live off, even the hottest artists, they live off the buzz. You get what I'm going? You know what I'm saying? The reason why artists that's on the label, that's, that stay relevant, yeah. they stay relevant, is because um, they have a marketing budget mm -hmm. that backs them. They NBA Youngboy is popular because they're throwing money at the blog. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if it's good or bad, they they're going to get paid attention. to post about them to mm -hmm. keep their attention on them. That's why you got somebody like uh, that singing nigga, uh, YKS Osiris. Yeah. He's always in a blog about some big Academics shit. People don't even know about his music, but his branding. Yeah, his branding is what gets the labels they paid. Yeah, so they keep them relevant. So That's it's like, thing. you know what I'm saying? Blog. I always tell the people like, the there's so many rappers out here in DC, Maryland, Virginia, that got that buzz and then they fall off like that yeah. because they don't have that marketing ba bag, and, you know what I'm saying, with uh, them. And then they get mad at the blogs for posting something bad about them, but really it's keeping them relevant for yeah, it, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to fall off too. Definitely easy to fall off, easy especially out here. Man, definitely like out here though, man. Easy to fall off. Yeah, definitely. So that's good to hear from an artist that's, that's making noise out here, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Man, but, like yeah, Jason. so, but now, um, <laughs> but now, man, tell me, Tell me like like when you really really first started though for real like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What was the process like? You know what I'm saying? You were just doing it like off the fuck it or when what? I first started, I started at a studio down the street. Right. It was convenient for me, you know. Right. Cause it's hard as shit to find a studio when you first get into the game. Right. I had a studio down the street, basement shit. We was making studios in there and I became a local hood star. Right. They was like, oh he showed he really got that shit. Mm -hmm. So we then started putting their money, investing in bigger and better studios, bigger, better equipment. And that shit paying off. Yeah. Another thing to these artists, you get what you put in. Y'all keep recording off garage band and shit. That shit ain't gonna go nowhere. I'm yeah, telling right. you. you nah, get what definitely. you put in. Yeah, definitely. Nah, you ain't lying though. You ain't no lying. Funny shit. Yeah. I'm just telling you all experience, man. I ain't where I wanna be, but you know I'm somewhere. You get me? Yeah, facts. Nah. And I feel like I feel like with that mentality, you gonna make it a little bit. You gonna make it further. You know what I'm saying? This shit though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just add third. So. I, one thing I know is one thing about your Instagram, you don't just post music, man. You yeah. post motivation and uh, shit, yeah, man. I do all that shit. So, where do that come <laughs> yeah. from, man? 
I ain't gonna lie. No funny shit before I was rapping. I was a mean poet. Like that ass poet. That's where I get my wordplay from. Okay. You know what I'm I was a mean poet, so I put that pen on that paper real good. Damn. So that shit just rolled off the top of the head. Multi times. Yeah. I'm a chef too. You know yeah. Me? Oh, you're not a cook too? I like that. Damn. Chef bang. Stop playing. For real? Yeah. Shit, when I can get a plate. What's your favorite meal? The oh, shit, I like motherfucking chicken. Uh, what the fuck? Chicken and um, what, what's that? Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Yeah, jerk chicken. Give me two sides. I got you. Yeah. Give me two sides. I got you. Cabbage, cabbage and mac and cheese. I got you. Baked mac and cheese. Bring it to the bar one day on Sunday. Yeah, man. Cool day. Say no more. I got it. Oh yeah, facts. I got it. You watch football? I got you. Yeah, man. Either either grill, either grill jerk salmon or or, 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 or grill mac. And you definitely don't gotta look around. We got Lou on that. I'm saying, but you know we good though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping about that. Nah, we got we good on that though, man. But yeah, though, man. Uh, tell me, like, what do you think you need to do yourself more? Like, what you need? What you think you need to do more as an artist? No funny shit. What we got going on right now is the main project. I didn't even want to say nothing. Hood movie coming soon. Right. Ooh. Hood movie coming soon. That's definitely. We trying to turn it up, man. So y'all gonna have scripts and all that? Yeah, we running north for real. We Hood movie north. coming soon, man. Right. We That's gonna know. be lit. That's Tell definitely it. gonna be lit, man. I want you in it if you could come in. Shit, I'll pull the fuck You'll up. You'll come What's in it, right? man. I'm in it. <laughs> Tell you, I'm, get, uh, I'm pulling up. Some comedians in the city. A lot of people who just wanna. Cause I just went to Atlanta, man, and that shit was like the Black Hollywood. Yeah. A lot of people chasing their dream out here. I'm trying to turn that shit up in the city. What motherfuckers chasing their dream out here? Yeah, I'm going. Anybody you know want to chase their dream? You think you think you think it's something missing from the DC rap? Like that that DC? You think it's a lot missing uh, that Atlanta has that we don't have? Number one being unity. Right. Number one being unity. Number two, man, I ain't gonna lie. Shit, number one, man, Yonis, that's the most thing I can say, Yonis. I got a question on that, you know, and I ain't gonna do no hot yeah. sipping that shit, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, like, say it's a, it's a neighborhood that you don't fuck with, right? Yeah. And, like, your neighborhood don't fuck with, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, y'all have an opportunity to make some real money. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying y'all gotta be cool. Y'all kick it with your arms, y'all squashed it, right? Yeah. But if there's an opportunity to make millions off this shit, uh -huh. and you come to them with the phone one, and they come to you with the full fuck, can they be like a, a, a cease, a truce, or something like that? Not friendship. I'm not saying y'all gotta click trying. up and be cool and be in the studio together. I'm just saying, saying is, is there a way like if motherfuckers making money together, like uh -huh. say for example, you, you, the niggas that y'all beefing with, or whatever, whatever, allegedly, I ain't saying y'all beefing with anybody. Yeah. But I'm saying is if y'all was beefing with somebody, would y'all yeah. like, would, like say y'all had, had the opportunity to go to Rolling Loud, uh -huh. and it's 50,000 at the table, you know exactly. what I'm saying? For, for both all, of y'all. Uh, for all them, glad you asked that. For all the labels out there that's looking at this, cause I got a lot of labels calling me. I'm willing to work, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm willing to work. There's no, no bad blood come with me. No bad smoke come with me. Man willing to work. Right. Get it done. Yeah. That nah, facts. So you say it's strictly business, man. Strictly business when they cut it back. Yeah. Oh, my label's looking out there. Yeah, facts. So you you willing to sign to a label? I'm willing to sign to a label. I definitely yeah. am. I'm not doing this shit for nothing, man. This shit was a hobby to me at first. I got a sign that this shit play play to me. Right. And when I say that, I'm literally saying this shit is my hobby. Right. A lot of motherfuckers play basketball. A lot of motherfuckers game. You hear me? I go to the studio. Mm -hmm. If it happened that a deal come on the table, I'm definitely right. taking that. But if it look right, I ain't right. no sweet green shit going over here. I ain't, I ain't doing that. You know? mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Now nah, facts though. Now nah, facts. So, cause you know a lot of motherfuckers be like, oh, I'm trying to be independent. I'm trying to be independent. But they don't really know the hard work it it, be, it is to become independent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. It's hard work to be independent. Yeah. But it's also pros and cons. There's also a lot of stop pros with that too. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Now, another thing for these artists out here, you gotta be educated in this shit. I know a lot of niggas that's just making music just to make it. They make a dollar off this shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? Best believe bad making money off this. I ain't rapping for nothing. Yeah, Stop facts. It. Stop it. Yeah, in fact, I definitely, I definitely agree though, man. I definitely agree, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. But nah, definitely, man. I definitely appreciate this interview, man. You know what I'm saying? You got, I, I want to hear some words of motivation, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me give him a quick jump. Yeah, give him, yeah, give him a quick jump, man. Motivation jump. Off the head, grandma, that shit off the head. Man, first thing first, you got to have self-love and self-care. A lot of people, they force themselves into relationships and these people abandoning you, these people giving you verbal <laughs> abuse, these people physically abusing you. Love yourself, man. Get out that relationship. And this is for a lot of my females out there who are in that physical, domestic violence, all that shit. Love yourself, man. I know that nigga making you feel bad. Love yourself, man. <laughs> I know, I know y'all probably be like, man, what the fuck this nigga be coming up with this shit for, man? Nah, for real. Nah, for real. Nah, for real. And I bet they feel that. Before I go, 
I, I sometimes you was an honor roll student at one point, man. Yeah, I'm very smart. Yeah, right. Like, I sometimes tell me though. Tell that nigga stop being emotional. Uh, yeah, no, nah, no tell bullshit. Get out your emotions. There's motion going on over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stop the emotions. That shit, that shit did. But with that honor roll shit, I got honor roll fifth grade. One yeah. time. You know what I mean? But I'm fucked up. They want not show me enough attention. They want not saying, yeah, you did good. I stopped that shit. He's like, fuck that honor I need attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm damn. being honest with you. Right. Motherfuckers know me from Kip Key. I went yeah. to Kip Key. They expelled my ass, though. <laughs> you said they expelled you? I got expelled from every school I went to. Really? Kip, <laughs> Kip I did, Baloo. You went to Baloo, too? I went to Baloo. Oh, wow. For two months. Shout out Naisha. <laughs> Shout out Naisha, dang. Shout out Naisha. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> I'm my shit. Man, nah, for real, man. I definitely appreciate this interview, man. I definitely, I had definitely had to pull up right here. Be back in the trenches, man. You pulling up, you hear me a lot of blokes. Yeah. Say they go on interview, man. They be scared man. to pull up, man. Say I'm right here, man. You know That's what I'm it. Saying? So Funny definitely, shit. man. Shout out to the whole Kennerworth. Shout out to Bang. Oh, tell me where they can follow you on Instagram and Twitter, man. Y'all can follow me at Rubber Band. R U B B E R B A N N. Follow me, man. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I got recipes. I got motherfucking yeah. motivational speeches. I got videos coming out. The content is mm -hmm. dead. Follow me. Turn a young nigga up, man. I'm trying yeah. to take us out. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. I appreciate that, man. Definitely. I got, I got my man right here. He got, I got to give him some. I got to show him some love because he, yeah. he heavily underrated too, yeah. man. Yeah. You can follow me on the gram at DTA underscore Stunner. Yeah, yeah, man. Frontline soldier. Yeah, he definitely one of the most underrated out this motherfucker too. I, I they definitely had to get him. They go ahead. They go ahead. Yeah, no funny shit. We had the full sim to rap. He was yeah. on all trap shit. He, he got bars though. I, got I'm bars, already what? hit. That nigga like got that. bars like. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. Like all man. freestyle too. Shit off the top. Oh, the top. Yeah. He be surprising right. me, bro. Shit that I led. That nah, nigga surprised right. me with that shit. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But nah, I definitely appreciate that interview, man. It's your boy David Hills and News, and we gone, man. All right, man. Appreciate. So man, yeah, man, show me around, man. Tell me some memories around this motherfucker, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to tell you what I got my first. That's funny shit. And we do not support none of that. Yeah, this back young nigga shit. This is when I was young. Yeah. We do not condone none of that. Yeah. 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 Ye
Definitely was lit, man. Damn, you know what I'm saying? So, so you know what I'm saying? You know, like you said, this is the trenches. You know, you go through the struggle, but it was a lot of fun around here. And, I, and from what I'm hearing is like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? Well, who you say is the most lit, like, as far as the block parties and cookouts, who you say y'all the most lit? Y'all or Saratoga, man? Because everybody love going through the toga, but which one you say is more lit, I man? Gonna say, I ain't going to lie to you. You know when we gonna shoot all our hometown. The word. Yeah, yeah I me. Mean, you know we gonna shoot the hometown. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> you know what we gonna say. Yeah, nah, definitely, man. No definitely. funny shit though. The Togo, they be having them little ass jumps. Yeah, they do that. All the auction on YouTube. Bitch, yeah, we having yeah, their yeah. head on the cars and all that. <laughs> I be saying that shit. Nah. <laughs> oh, tell me about the basketball court, man. Uh, look good. Oh. You know hey, we do hey, tournaments. Hey, look. We came up out here on sports and shit like. Yeah. Like 90% of motherfuckers out here, box, football, basketball, you hear me? Big ass boys out here. Yeah, facts. I'm bad some shit there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you a Mitchell? You some shit? Yeah, I'm a Mitchell. Shit, I'm six foot three, man. Motherfuckers be like, man, bro, pay back. I be like, bro, I'm some yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, like, shit, I ain't got no skills, bro. Yeah, shoot, Yo, Webby, so. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> Did then you shoot one of your music videos right here? Yeah, yeah, this is why I shot. See, yeah. one of my favorite songs yeah. too, man. I shot a couple videos over here. That's what I'm saying. I shoot. Me and him both, we shoot a lot of our videos out here, man. I'm mm -hmm. on the motherfuckers to sit. Mm -hmm. See how we love it. Yeah, in fact, man, you know what I'm saying? When you see out of town, is you telling you from DC, do they think this is what DC like? Shit, when they see this, no funny shit, I be bringing niggas up here that's from out of town. They think this shit like shot rat, like this shit, this hit, this trenches for real. Right, you know what I'm saying? This shit, this is it. This is yeah. the project. Nah, it's definitely the project, man. And it, it, it ain't a lot of projects in DC yeah, left. You know what I'm saying? They turn a lot, a lot of them down. So doing what they doing to us? You know what I'm saying? Trying yeah, to definitely. Release. But do y'all look at like long as they not moving y'all out? Did y'all look at that as a good thing yeah, too, though? They is moving our ass out. They can tell us get the fuck. Dude. Oh, they tell y'all get the yeah, fuck, fuck. I thought they was trying to bring y'all back on the low, man. I feel like I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, in fact. Yeah, man, they gonna have to put bang, damn, bank or tie shit on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be all condos out here, man. He gonna be still right here, man. Yeah. What would you do with your um your first paycheck, man? Like we say, you get the big check, say they will give you five M's. Five M's? Yeah, they say they give you five. What's the first thing you gonna do for the community? You gonna buy it in the world? I ain't gonna lie, five M's ain't enough to buy the jump for me. I don't know, man. You shoot your shit off, yeah. I gotta get mom somewhere though. I gotta spend a whole M on mom, yeah. Me, I gotta get her somewhere, yeah. Me, I feel it. Get her situated, yeah. Me. Yeah. And after that, I gotta make me feel wild. Another M. I gotta put another M in that in that in that promotion distribution shit we was talking about. Yeah, facts. The rest of that shit, I'm gonna sit on that shit. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Me do what I've been doing, yeah. Me and turn that shit into 30, 40 M, 100 M. Nah. I'ma turn Ma up. Everybody know that. Ma already know that. Say Ma gonna get blessed. Fuck yeah, that shit. Ma, up. Yeah, Ma nah. already your bougie. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Yeah, yeah facts, man. Ma gonna be turned up. We Tell reading me. little NBA stars and all that. And more the more time they wake up, I need a hundred shots. Do y'all got a rec center around here? Like the big basketball? Yeah, we got a rec down the street. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, facts. What is swimming pool? All oh. the Yetis come out in the summer. Yeah, yeah facts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing or another thing, we some fly talking niggas too. Definitely from Flat Talk. Yeah, he's like, the ladies love coming down Kenilworth, man. That shit. Fuck yeah. Good time. They love man. coming out Kenilworth. No funny shit. They just come out here just to see. I ain't gonna lie. Don't get mad at me, man. They come out here to see band, though. You get on time. <laughs> <laughs> they come to see band, though. That's what they come to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the facts. Yeah, man, we talked about this right here, man. You know what I'm saying? But what is the first thing? Like, what's the first exact thing you do for the neighborhood, man? The first thing? Uh, yeah, first thing. Like, say. I'm going to do. So I did a lot of shit already for the neighborhood. Right. You know I, mean? I do back to school drives. You know I mean? mm -hmm. We try to put a turkey jaw together right now for Thanksgiving. Right. But the first big thing we do, you know I mean? kids love me, kids say hi, I rubber band trying to see me and shit. But the first big thing I want to do, I want to really uh, get this Kenner. We do Kenner return Missouri summer. Right. Basketball and shit. And that shit had, you know, died down. We stopped going. Rest in peace. It's my nigga Bird. Right. <laughs> but. I'm trying to get that back. Bird. Yeah, man. I'm trying to get this shit back. Yeah, the facts. No, for real. All the time, though. Getting y'all niggas something to do. Yeah. Boxing, all that. I want a big boy, little community mm -hmm. center. Some programs to rely on running through. Some shit going yeah. on. Yeah, man. I'm on that. Yeah. I'm going to do it real good. I'm going to do it right. Do you think, um, there's one question I forgot to ask. You think you, you trying to, you know, you you trying and you working your hardest for this rap shit right here. Do you think that's kind of like what would be going on in your reality? You think that sometimes be holding you back sometimes? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Outside the studio, you back in real life. You back in the hood, you know what I'm saying? This should be distraction, but gotta block that shit out. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, it's a gift and a curse to be out here, though. 
if we specifying and we really talking about the hood, it's a gift and a curse to be out here. Cause a lot of niggas don't even, like I told a lot of people, that hood support, that's a different type of support. Nah, for real. You know, I'm going there, take you, that'll take you there. Yeah. yeah. They say, uh, is the hood like distraction like, from the music? Like the, the hood, like the, the hood distracts you from the music, yeah. like being in the hood and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you know like, what I'm uh, saying? Like, Sometimes, like, yeah, does it distract you from like succeeding what you want to like, succeed? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the city, yeah. Yeah. In the city, yeah. yeah. But did you ever think about moving, like going to Atlanta, going to Houston, oh, stay out there for a while, yeah. try to take this shit full time? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got, uh, I ain't no local rapper. I got, we got different fans in the other places. I was thinking about moving out OC, Atlanta. I ain't gonna drop my location and shit. I definitely think about moving. You know? Yeah, in fact. Definitely think about moving. Expanding my horizon. Right. Nah, definitely. I need to hear this shit. Nah, for real, man. Shit, the whole time. That interview with uh, Dirty Glove, that's already out, right? Nah, we actually just did it, what? Like four days ago. Four days ago. But turnaround gonna be a week. That def is definitely about to come out. Right. And I feel like when that drop, Shit gonna really go up. Labels already calling. That shit going phone gonna be nonstop. You hear me? Mm -hmm. DMV hoods and news out here. All the bloggers gonna go out here. You know DMV hoods yeah. and news had to walk for y'all niggas to run. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. You already know what's going on. <laughs> they gonna treat this motherfucker like old blogger. Some you know shit like they gonna treat <laughs> like, work like old blogger. Yeah, 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 facts. Funny shit. Yeah, you know, facts for real though. But nah, man, tell me, man, yeah, man. Just give me some. Give me one more last words, man, before you bounce out, yeah. right? Man. I ain't worried about this shit. I do it every time. This shit is play play to me. Y'all know what the fuck going on. You hear me? Rest in peace to the men. Free crib. Freedom soldiers. You hear me? Stop tipping in your raps. Stop tipping. Stop tipping in your raps. Y'all making it hard to make music. You hear me? It's hard yeah. as shit to make a song without getting yourself. Oh, yeah, right. dang. I forgot that one. Yeah. Get Stop the fuck out of my DMs rap. with the fake pages and shit. Come on, man. I ain't with the bar fire shit. I ain't doing that. Real Shout life doing voice yeah, messages yeah, and yeah. shit. Stop that shit, man. Yeah. Come on, I ain't trying to. You know, I'm lock in. I'm making music. Stop it. Come on, <laughs> with I'm the not on that. So you say you say haters hit you up with the, in the DMs? Oh, yeah, with the they do the voice messages. I'm going to get you. All right, I ain't doing that. I'm yeah. off the box now. Where you at? Come on, man. I'm off the box man, <laughs> with the fake that. page. So they hit you up for the real page, fake man. Page I'm on the box. Where you at? All right. All right, come on, man. And then you ain't even focus on that type of time, yeah, though, man. man. Yeah, really in the still, man, trying to make some music, man. Yeah. All my labels out there, band is trying to make music. I'm locked in, yeah. Yeah, you locked in, man. And you definitely rapped about that, man. Yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah. man. But I definitely appreciate that interview, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we pulling up part two for the vlog, man. I need to... Yeah, fuck it, man. Hey, man, probably two weeks, man. We need to pull right back up, man. You need to just do an end of the summer joint, man. Yeah. Something. It's more. still going to be warm until October, man. Put something together. We got... Yeah, you got to do you. something. Put something together. Yeah, you gotta do something. I definitely gotta get that vlog. I got I definitely gotta get that vlog party. Nah, definitely, man. Definitely. You showed me love, so I gotta I gotta return the love back to you, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, it's your boy Danby Hudson News and we gone, man.